Hello internet marketers, thanks for checking out another video from How to Webmaster. My name is Leon and today I'm going to show you guys how to register expired domain names, deleted domain names with backlinks and traffic. So these are very good for building websites on because they already have established backlinks and traffic. So you pretty much can get free traffic from these expired domains and they are available and you can register them at whatever the registration price is you can register for as low as a dollar and I'll show you some of those places at my domaindeals.com website so check the links below for deals on registering new domains for as low as a dollar so here is my absolutely favorite place to buy expired domains it's the ultimate expired domain search engine expireddomains.net I've used this site for many many years now and I can't believe it is still free it has such a big database of domains almost 300 million domains deleted as you can see here you don't even need to register an account you can just access the site and make a search right here so let me show you an example I want to find domains relating to my niche let's do SEO and I'm search for SEO here and it shows almost 400,000 domains that are either available or that are expired currently available on auction which you can make offers at all these different places so some of them are available they have expired and are available and some are almost expiring so like pending and some of them are at auctions like at GoDaddy auction but the great thing about this place is you can filter your results you can filter if you're interested at buying domains at a uh, marketplace like GoDaddy, Cedo, or other places. For me, I don't I'm not a big auction buyer, so I'll just click on deleted domains. That way it only shows deleted domains which is available for register registering uh, instantly. And you can also filter by do you want numbers, characters and hyphens in the domain? So usually I don't care too much about that. Uh, I just uh, even if it has numbers, characters, hyphens, it doesn't matter to me as long as it has a lot of backlinks. So I can get some potential free traffic. That is more important. And then the max length of the domain, you can auto set that. If it's too long, you don't maybe not want to register that. Uh, minimum backlinks is also good if you want a certain amount of backlinks. Uh, minimum and the minimum domain popularity so like the number of backlinks from different domains linking to that expired domain so this is a good to set as well like let's say minimum 10 and minimum backlink let's do 10 10 and this is the minimum birth year of a domain which means it was it could be registered 10 years ago you want to uh, re look for domains that are really old you can set a minimum here and uh, it doesn't really matter to me that much so I'm gonna leave that blank and you can also choose to register or find domains in uh, any of these extensions if you want so I'm just gonna leave that alone and let's click on apply filter and now it shows 2,302 expired domains. So these are expired and they're available right now. You can register them. And I've noticed that, well, it's not always 100% available. Sometimes the list isn't updated in real time. So some people can look for these domains and register it. And expireddomains.net may not have picked up on that yet. So it's about, I would say, 95%, uh, the status is 95% correct. 
So let's browse some of these stats here. So we got some big numbers, 120,000 backlinks to this SGO, SEO.com.tw, some Taiwanese uh, SEO site, and it's got 4,000 backlinks from 4,000 different domains. So that's pretty powerful, and it's old about is registered back in 2013 it has been crawled by archive.org 21 times it has zero Alexa ranking because uh, mostly uh, expired domains will not have an Alexa ranking it is DMOZ and all these other things and you can go up to these column headers and just hover your mouse over it and you can read more about what these different headers mean and you can also click on any of these column heading and to sort it so I, most of the time I like to sort it by the domain popularity because the backlinks matter but it doesn't matter too much say you have a thousand backlinks but it's coming from one different domain so it's not that great if it's coming from a thousand different domains that's even better and then you can browse through all of these names and see which one looks good to you and related to your niche so SEO so let's see I like this one right here it's got a lot of backlinks it has a lot of backlinks from different domains it's old so YouTube SEO is actually pretty big right now so it's pretty hot I see a lot of products and services for YouTube SEO so this is actually a great domain and you can check it out by clicking on the available link here and you can select one of these domain registration companies to see if it's actually available and I have checked and it's actually available right there and you can also click on any of these backlinks and you can select a service I like uh, SEM rush so SEM rush here you can see more detailed stats on the backlinks so it's got 6,000 backlinks from 33 referring domains so you can't really trust the stats sometimes say because it says here 3.8 so 3,800 backlinks from different domains so you really can't trust it all the time and here you get maybe a more trustworthy stats so it says 33 referring domains from 40 different IPs and you can see the backlinks it was be as it was being built and you can see some more details here from uh, t uh, the TLD distribution from what kind of extension so mostly from dot coms and you can do and then the, here's pretty important down here top anchor so this is the keywords that that are being linked so by YouTube views so if you were a a service that sells YouTube views this may be a good domain for you since a lot of backlinks thousands of them are already built for you with the keyword buy YouTube views and so all that effort time and money spent on ranking this domain or building backlinks to this domain has been done and now it's, it's probably gonna get some traffic with buy YouTube views if you focus if you build a website and focus on this you're gonna get some free traffic from Google so I've, I've done this many times and I've seen people do this all the time and it works beautifully and let's check out SEO kicks so we got SEO kicks here and you can see link popularity so about 3800 so that's similar to what expireddomains.net showed us but the domain popularity is 18 so which is a lot less than what you see here but uh, let's check out some and here you can see the some of the backlinks so it's, it's not as pretty the stats at SEO kicks is not as pretty as the SEM rush right here 
so that's why I use SEM Rush more often to check but it's not free none of these are actually free you can only scan about 10 domains at a time so you can only see stats for these guys 10 times with SEM Rush per account so you do need to make an account with SEM Rush to view the stats so this right here is considered one ch search and SEM Rush is actually really expensive so so once you're done with the 10 then you can switch to SEO kicks and then you can try try the search metrics however search metrics is not very consistent with the other tools the other tools are have more stats in their database so search metrics is probably newer so it doesn't have as many of these expired domain stats as the other guys so as a last resort you can do the search metrics so that's how easy it is to find expired domains I hope this helps and thank you for watching please check back to how to webmaster YouTube channel for more internet marketing marketing tips and tricks thank you and happy domaining